Hey electric football fans, Coach White here to show you how easy it can be to detail an electric football figure with Tudor Games uniforms kits. This time we'll be using a sprinter figure, so we need to find the sheet B which contains all of the decals for the sprinter figures. So here's our figure, and we can see that sheet B, the picture will match the figure that we're using. So we want to be sure to always use the correct sheet with the figure that we're using or the decals will not fit correctly. Now that we've got the correct figure and the correct uh, decal sheet, we're going to go ahead and start with decal number one, the back of the pants. So you can see that decal right here. Uh, it's going to cover the whole back side of the pants on the figure. And you can see there are two leg stripes. These ones are in white and blue uh, on the edge of the decal there. Those will line up with the mold lines that are on each of the figure's legs. So let me show you what that looks like. So you can see here in the light, there's that mold line uh, that is uh, created during the molding process. We're gonna use uh, that mold line as a guide uh, to place this first decal sheet. So I'm just gonna line up that white leg stripe along the mold line of the figure. Once I got it where I want it, I can just press down and set that edge. So I'm just gonna shift it around a little bit until I think I've got it in the right spot. That looks pretty good. I'll press down, set that edge so the decal sheet doesn't move. Once I got that edge set, I'll grab the other corner and wrap it around the waistline. And this other uh, leg stripe will also match with the mold line on the figure's other leg. So I'll pull that around and adhere it when I think I've got it in the right spot. Great, now the next step, we're gonna attach these flaps uh, that are left over on the back side of the figure. So we'll pick one of the legs. I'm gonna start at the leg stripe here and slowly and carefully, I'm just going to iron out this uh, strip of decal, trying to push any of the wrinkles um, in towards the center of the figure's uh, legs there. So just like that, I'm gonna iron out uh, this part of the decal and I'm gonna attach it on the inner part of this leg here. You can see there, this decal part, I'm just gonna press up against the leg. Just like that, and you can see that this part of the decal has been applied nice and smoothly. We'll go on to the other side, same thing. Start at the leg stripe over here and slowly just push the material of that decal along, slowly ironing out any wrinkles and adhering it to the inner part of the leg, just like that. Great, when you got those two flaps um, adhered, just go ahead and take this central flap, either with your thumb or with a, some, a pair of tweezers and just go ahead and adhere that in between uh, the figure's legs here. So just like that, we've got our first decal sheet on. And I'll go ahead and pull out uh, decal number two, which is gonna be the right leg here. And here's the next decal. This is the right front leg. And we see this edge will match up with the leg stripe of the decal that we just applied to our figure. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna find the right leg right here, and I'll see that that edge is gonna line up perfectly with the leg stripe on the previous decal. So I'll get it close to where I want it, and then I'll just be able to carefully shift it anywhere I might need it until it's perfectly line up, lined up. Once I've got it in the spot I want, I just want to adhere. And 
when the uh, pant leg decals are placed on the leg where the arm is nice up out of the way, you can always take your thumb here, starting at the uh, leg stripe, roll your thumb across towards the center of the figure. That'll adhere nicely. Uh, most of the decal here. And then we'll just take a toothpick or a tool and adhere the rest of that decal sheet to the knee, to the inner leg, and up here uh, towards the waist. But if we use our thumb there, it's gonna nicely adhere most of the decal and we just have to clean it up, adhering the rest. All right, there we go. There's our second decal done. So now we'll move on to decal number three. That is the left front pant leg. This will be very similar to the one that we just did. So the uh, edge that we want to match our leg stripe to will be on this side of this decal. And just like before, we'll match up that edge to the edge of the decal that we just applied. Make sure it lines up nicely. Once we got it in the right spot, we just want to set that edge, press down and adhere so that it doesn't move. And now with this one, we can't really get our thumb quite in the right position with this arm in the way. So I'll just grab this little corner here, this one here, and wrap it around the leg like that, adhering that decal to the inner leg here, just like that. And there you go. Now you can see we've got the decal sort of um, applied here, but we want to smooth it out. So I'm just going to take my thumb again and roll over the top of this decal. There we are. And now look at that, we got two nicely applied decals. I can always take my toothpick or my tool, clean up those little wrinkles if there are any. There we are, looking good. We've got our first three decals now applied. We'll move on to the socks. So here we'll start with uh, decal number four, the left sock. So here's how the decal looks for the left sock. And we're just going to slot this indentation at the top right behind the figure's knee. So I'll show you, we are gonna find the left leg. That's this one here. And that indentation is gonna go right behind the figure's knee. So that there is an equal, uh, equal size flap on either side of the figure's leg, just like that. And then we're just gonna grab one of those two flaps and pull it across, around, and adhere it to the front of the leg, just like that. And then the same with the other. We'll grab it and pull it around, adhering it to the front. And I always like to take my thumb here and adhere that last little bit with my thumb or finger. So there's one sock done. And we'll just copy that. The, uh, the next uh, decal will be the right sock. And again, it's very similar shape. We're gonna do the exact same thing. So I'll grab the figure, find the right leg, slot it behind the right knee, just like that. And then take those two equals flaps, wrap them around the leg and adhere them to the front. All right, there we are. So we got the bottom half of our uniform finished. Now let's move on to the jersey and the helmet. So again, I'll pull out my decal sheet. We're gonna find decal number six, which is the back of the jersey. All right, here's what this decal looks like. And we can see we're gonna start by applying this decal to the back of the figure. And the figure's head will slot in on that indentation there at the top. 
So I'll show you where this goes. Turn the figure to his back and we're just gonna slot that indentation right behind the figure's neck, just like this. I wanna put it where I think it's just about gonna fit and then I can always make these small adjustments until I get my decal exactly where I want it, right slotted behind the figure's neck here. All right, once I got it where I think um, it is correct, I'll go ahead and give him a little back rub. That will adhere the back. I'm gonna go ahead and um, press this material underneath the figure's arms. All right, some side flaps that need to get adhered. So one here and then one here underneath the other arm. Once we've done that, we can flip him to the front and we've got these four uh, flaps here, uh, two uh, top shoulder flaps and two side shoulder flaps. So we're actually gonna apply the top shoulder flaps to the figure, but leave the side ones unadhered for now. So I'm just gonna pull these up over the shoulder and adhere each corner. Again, I'll take my thumb, smooth these out. All right, very good. And now I've got the back of the jersey applied. So we'll go to the front of the jersey. So again, I'll pull up my sheet here. This is going to be um, uniform decal number seven, the front of the jersey. All right, here's the front of the jersey. And we can see the point there at the top. Uh, right uh, above the NFL logo there uh, will be right where we place um, the decal underneath the figure's chin. So I'll show you right here. We want that uh, NFL logo centered underneath the figure's chin, just like that. Oops, there we are. That looks pretty good once I've got it in the right place. I'm just gonna take my thumb and forefinger and press. That will adhere the front of the jersey nicely. And then all we'll need to do is take a toothpick or our tool and press again these side flaps underneath the arm. One here and one goes here. Good. Once we've got that decal applied, we can go ahead back to the side shoulder flaps here. We'll just grab them at the end and pull them around the shoulder, adhering them to the front there. Oops. Again, we'll take it around the shoulder and adhere to the front. I'm gonna iron it out a little bit, stick it down with my fingers here. And there we are. We've got uh, the jersey and the uh, pants both applied to our figure. And all we need to do is uh, go under the helmet. <clears throat> so we've got two more decal sheets to apply and then we are finished with this figure. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and work on the top of the helmet first. That is decal sheet number eight. And here's what the decal sheet looks like. You can see there's a small uh, white rectangle at the bottom of this sheet that's going to slot right uh, behind the figure's neck right here I'll show you so again we'll turn our figure to the back and center this decal right on the back of the figure's head where that uh, white rectangle rests right at the base of the figure's neck all right that looks great once we get it in the right spot, we'll adhere the bottom here, flip it over to the front, and we're going to just place the uh, the front decal there so that it's centered right where the figure's nose 
is. And once we've got it in the right spot, <clears throat> just take your finger here and roll it starting at the base of the neck, rolling it over forward and towards the front. Okay, we wanna just iron out all of those wrinkles as best we can, just like that. And I can go ahead with my tool and really get the rest of that decal stuck down. All right, very good. Let's get a good look at that. There we are. Maybe adhere some of these little corners in the back. All right, and now we're, la uh, we're ready for our final uh, decal sheet. It's gonna be the sides of the helmet. So I'll pull out my decal sheet one last time. Here we are, uh, number nine, the sides of the helmet. So here's what that decal looks like. And we can see one um, other white rectangle here. That is going to go right in the center of the figure's head, right above his nose. So I'm just gonna take that white rectangle and place it the best I can centered so that that uh, white rectangle is slotted right above the figure's nose. That looks pretty good. And then we can always adjust. All right, that looks pretty good. Looks like it's in nearly the right spot. And then we'll take each of the sides of these helmets. We're gonna grab the back corner here and pull it around, adhering it to the back, right by the base of the neck there. Same with the other side. We're gonna pull it around adhered at the base of the neck, just that little corner there. We'll flip them back around to the front. Just stick down uh, these little uh, side flaps here of the helmet. Very good. And then all we've got left is the little unadhered flaps up at the top. Now the best way to do that I've found is to take your thumb and forefinger like this, pinch the figure's head, and then roll backwards with your finger. Pinch and roll backwards. Do it a couple times. And that should fairly cleanly, without too many wrinkles, adhere that, uh, that uh, helmet decal to the figure. I can always take my tool, smooth it out a little bit. But once I've got that decal on, the only thing left to do is uh, put on the numbers to customize our figure. And that's it. So as long as you uh, start practicing these uh, skills, uh, you can start decaling your electric football figures quickly and easily.